Morning, Chesley. Helping folks where we can, but it's tough around here, and there are a lot of people trying to help folks up that hill right there on Sugarloaf Parkway. You can see that pickup truck there. He has almost made it up to the hill, but we have watched him struggle because he's had some tires spinning like a lot of other people. We're going to spin around here and show you what's going on right now. We're on Sugarloaf between 316 and Lawrenceville Highway. A hill that way, a hill that way. This has been the real tough one. And you see now Gwinnett police are trying to hold people back until we can get one at a time folks through here. This big semi truck has been stuck here for a while. And these guys over here have hooked it up to their pickup truck. And you're going to try to pull this big tractor trailer truck up this hill with your pickup truck. Stephen, let me talk to this fellow right here. Tell me your name. Kelsey Wilson. And you guys saw what was going on here and came over. Can you really pull that semi up this hill? We're going to try to. Well, how many? You've, you've so, helped several folks up the hill so far. Yes, sir. Probably about eight. Tell me what's the, you, kind of describe what we're seeing up at the top of that hill where folks are having so much trouble. Looks like to me the snow has just packed down so much that it's ice. It's more of ice, yes. Yes, sir. Um, just so much too slick, they can't keep spinning. So, I've seen a lot of people get up there, almost get over it, and lose momentum or stop or whatever, and then they're done. Yeah, that's that's exactly what happens. They're stopping once they stop spinning, start spinning. Behind you here, I don't get hit. Well, yeah, they start spinning and then they quit, yeah. and that's dope. I'm going to let you. I, I'm, I'm keeping you from helping this guy. So we're going to let this pickup truck. Thank you very much, Kelsey. Yes, we're going to we're going to watch as he tries to get this semi out of here again. Well, they're letting cars through again now, but what was happening for a while, you see Gwinnett police are here now, and they're trying to get this area cleared out. So they're, the best they can do is get one car at a time up there. You need us out of the way. They need us out of the way, but this pickup truck's coming by. When he gets by, I'm going to go. I, it, you know, it, it's look at my feet. This is, this is what you're facing. It is slick as I do the James Brown dance here. That, that's what it's like. Snow before, when we first got here, 530 this morning, it was snow, thick snow, but it has compacted now again to where it's ice. Oh, he's not going to be able to pull that semi up there. Kelsey is trying his best in that pickup truck, and he's been helping many, many people up this hill, but it's a lot easier to get a sports car or another pickup truck up the hill than it is a, a semi. This uh, truck driver may be stuck here for a while. I don't know. He's going to give it a try again. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen. He's doing his best, but I just don't know. Well, we'll stick with it. Stephen, let's walk down here because that could go. Now, here, here we've got folks on the other side. What's going on here? Oh, boy, don't... Man, that is frustrating. That is frustrating. We don't want to get that semi where he's blocking the whole road there and then nobody can get past. Look at all the people down this way. Look at them all waiting for the road to clear up here so that they can make their attempt at getting up the hill. Again, the problem is that that snow we were seeing this morning has just compacted and compacted until it has turned into ice. And this is the situation now. This semi just can't make it up there, even when held by that. We're, we're going to need a bigger rig than that to get him up this hill. <laughs> Gwinnett, Gwinnett police officer came along and said, nope, cut it, no more of that. Uh, we don't want cars scattered across this roadway. It's bad enough as it is. So uh, tough situation here. A couple of Gwinnett police officers trying to help folks up here um, and get them out of the way. We need to get some uh, salt and gravel trucks out here. I need to talk to the Gwinnett police to see if they're on the way. I think part of the problem is they can't get here because of the, the traffic that is stuck here. And again, what we're looking at right here is the hill that goes up along Sugarloaf Parkway from 316 up to Highway 29. Look at the ice. That's what it used to be snow, a thin layer of snow, but it is so compacted now. Yeah, that is slick ice. And you might get your tires on the snow part, but then once you hit this, you're done. It, you start spinning and a lot of people just get scared. They start sliding, they lose momentum, and then they can't make it up. So that's where we are now. You see all the people there waiting for their turn to try to get up here, and most of them are going to need the help of Kelsey in that pickup truck or someone else. Is he going to give it one more try to get that? Uh... Are you guys done with him? No go? Yeah. Oh, they, they're unhooking the semi. That didn't, that didn't work. Hey, guys back there, do we have time? I want to talk to this gentleman here. He's been... we got, we got, we're going to go back. Let me get one quick comment. This, 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 this gentleman here is from here in Atlanta, but has driven a lot up north. You've been helping people up this hill. What are you seeing people do that's wrong? Oh, uh, they're spinning their tires. Spinning tires has no traction at all. So if you just keep the wheels just slightly moving, stay on the snow, 
you're more likely to have a little traction getting up the hill. What you don't want to do is hit the brakes, hit the gas. Once you get moving, you don't stomp on the gas. Just keep moving slowly. As long as you've got momentum, you can keep going. You've got some traction. They spin in the tires. Yeah. Hard, hard to stay on the snow now that it's so it compacted is. down. Up, up the hill now, it's getting kind of packed down, right. and you've got ice on there because people have been spinning their tires all over, and it's really hard ice, no snow, no tracks. Right, right. So they just need to take it easy, go home if they can make it there. And you've been out here a long time helping folks for uh, at least an hour, I think, if not more than that. Yeah, I've been out here a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. So That's he's okay. been doing a good job. What's your name again? Rick. Rick. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate it again. He's he's from Atlanta, but he's done some driving up north. Ooh, watch out here, Stephen. We got another car trying to come through. So, Crash Clark, let's go to you. Some folks are making it. Many are not. Oh, he just gave up then, huh? He's all right. I thought he was going to help some other cars there. You see that one SUV backing up. But, yeah, that was... Uh, one battle that David was not going to win. All right, we do remember scenes like this, don't we? We've had enough snow jams to be reminiscent of it, 93 and just recently in 2013. But look at this. This is I-20 out at Almond Road in Covington, Georgia. We have had five jackknife tractor trailers, then icy conditions that have completely shut the road down. Let's get 